Well, it's official. We officially live in the future, baby. Hell yes. I love technology. I love where technology's going. And for the first time ever, humankind, not humankind, but humankind, God, you feminists aren't going to like this one, but <laughs> humankind have released and, and flown a aircraft on another planet for the first time. This is quite literally ingenuity at its finest. You see what I did there? You probably don't because I haven't pronounced it yet, but this is the spacecraft and it's called Ingenuity and it's at its finest. I thought that was kind of cool. We're going to talk about this truly amazing uh, time in history and we're alive to see it. How incredible is this? Guys, my name is Gareth Walton. We do daily videos on this channel in the studio talking about unboxing reviews, world news and everything else. Of course, this is the channel that you're on right now, number two, but we do have a number one channel. One has the one and two has the two. It's honestly that simple. Now, getting back, my bird is sneezing. Are you birds okay? Are you birdies okay? I don't know if you can see me, but I'm over here. I, I'm over here. Where am I? Oh, no, you guys can't see me. The birds are in the way. <laughs> uh, back to what we're talking about with ingenuity. This is the little beautiful, cute little thing. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Look at him. Right, let's get to the actual actual thing. But before we do, you know, the Wright brothers, I was, this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. The Wright brothers, you know, are very obviously famous for uh, the first pilots on earth, I guess you could say. Uh, when was their first trip? 1903. So, you know, what is it? Roughly 20, 120 years ago, roughly, uh, you know, human, human kind, <laughs> you know, released its first, uh, you know, flying, whatever, drone, airplane, helicopter, you get what I'm saying, but now, you know, 120 years later, you know, here we are on another planet for the very first time, uh, flown for the very first time, it flew like a virgin, Mars never saw it coming, but hey, Mars has been, Mars's cherries now popped, uh, back to the Wright brothers and back to Ingenuity uh, at its finest, uh, Ingenuity is a small robotic solar helicopter operating on Mars as part of, of NASA's uh, Mars 2020 mission. Let's hope there's no coronavirus on Mars as well, because 2020 sucked. Uh, now, on the 19th of April 2021, it successfully completed the first powered controlled flight by an aircraft on a planet besides Earth. How amazing is this, right? Now, uh, taking off vertically, hovering and landing. We're going to show you the video in a second, by the way. We're going to absolutely show you the video at the end of this. Uh, the battery-powered coaxial, coaxial uh, drone rotorcraft is serving as a technology uh, demonstrator uh, for the potential use of flying probes on future missions to Mars and other worlds. And uh, will have the potential to scout locations of interest and support the future planning of you know, driving routes for, for Mars rovers. How awesome is this, right? Now, Ingenuity is expected to fly up to five times during its 30-day test campaign schedule early in the rover's mission. Uh, so look, this is one thing that I don't quite understand. It seems to me, based on this information, that they're only going to be using this thing potentially five times as a test for you know, future missions with that bigger aircraft and all that stuff. Couldn't they have used this aircraft for some other tests? I don't know. It's just a thought, but you know, couldn't they have? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, back to what we're talking about. Now, there's another thing here. Uh, future Mars rover design iterations. Now, uh, the, the, the Ingenuity technological, uh, technology demonstrator could form the foundation on which more capable aircraft might, de might be developed for aerial exploration of Mars and other planetary targets with an atmosphere. So basically what they're saying is this thing is a test and it seems to be going well. Hence, I will show you the video in a second. It has not crashed and burned yet, thankfully. But yes, uh, you know, back, back to what I'm saying with this, if there is no, uh, what were they saying? If there's no atmosphere, thank you, wiki, 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 pdpdpedia, if there's no atmosphere, uh, or even if there's a little atmosphere, uh, fat chance getting off the ground without an atmosphere, without some sort of gas in, uh, or on this, on this planet or any planet, how on earth are you going to be able to fly your flying machine? It's impossible. Unless, unless of course, 
we have some sort of you know future UFO tech, uh, you know magnetic propulsion, magnetic anti gravity situations. Uh, if we had something like that, then we wouldn't even need to use atmospheres at all. Uh, my dog is snoring. Charlotte, no snoring. Good girl. Uh, so yeah, very interesting, right? Back to the article. These are my dogs, by the way. I've got two dogs here and a cat. And they all just kind of get along with each other. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to ingenuity. Now, this is the thing I wanted to show you. Let's uh, read some of these things right here. Now, of course, the most important thing, we'll start with the most important thing. You've got the blades. Made of carbon fiber, uh, foam core provide lift in the thin Mars atmosphere. Uh, you know, obviously the thinner the atmosphere, the, the, the fatter the chance of you ever getting off the air, off, off the floor, I should say. Uh, you know, radio antennas on the top here. Uh, radio antennas talk to Earth via Mars 2020 rover and the Mars orbiters. So basically, basically this thing talks to the to the rovers that go on, on, on Mars, the, you know, the, the land rovers, and they talk to the, to the Mars orbiters that go around uh, Mars. Now on here to the right, you've got the solar panel which is very next to the antennas, very close to it. A solar panel helps keep the batteries charged. Without the solar panel, your mission is dead. Uh, avionics and body. It's avionics or brains. Can you guys read that? Yes, you can. Help the helicopter function and navigate. Now the body has insulation and heaters to keep sensitive electronics warm and survive cold Martian nights. So as, as we guys may know, uh, according to Matt Damon, it gets very, very cold up in Mars. If you've seen The Martian, you, <laughs> the movie The Martian, you'd probably know that. Uh, but, you know, one thing that I want to know is, wouldn't ha having to actually charge, hang on, how do I say this properly? Having to constantly heat up the spacecraft to keep the internals nice and warm, wouldn't that take a lot of electricity out of the, out of the batteries? Uh, yeah, that's very interesting. You'd, you'd need to put a lot of insulation to keep the, the warmth as warm as possible, I guess. Uh, yeah, sensors and cameras. Uh, sensors collect data uh, on how fast the helicopter is traveling and in which direction. Well, I have a DJI drone, so we know all about that. Uh, cameras help the helicopter see. And of course, we've got the legs, another important feature. Ultra light legs made of carbon fiber tubes help it land after the flight. We're going to show you the video in the next 30 seconds, I believe. And batteries, of course. Batteries help power the helicopter and, you know, the solar panel charges it. And back to the blades again. But yeah, look at that little thing. How awesome. So I think we're back to the video we're going to show you. So this is the actual video. We're going to play it for you guys right now. And there's the little Mars rover right there. You see it? Where is he? There he goes. He's spinning. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Is he spinning? There he goes. He is. Like a record, baby. Right, right, round, round. You're spinning me right round, baby. Right, round. He's actually spinning. He's doing a bit of a spinny thing. Uh, honestly, you know, a thousand years from now, 10,000 years from now, assuming civilization is still alive, this video will be played 10,000 years from now. This video is absolutely historic, and it's, you know, the grand scheme of things. This is pretty significant. People thousands of generations from now, we'll, we'll look at this video and be like, yeah, this was, you know, that will be the history books on people's, you know, retinas when they, when they look <laughs> at information through the contact lenses, and, you know, through digital overlays on walls and ceilings with, you know, mapping this and technolo you know, technology news, that, whatever. I, I'm going off, trap, off, off topic for a second, but, you know, when people go to the history non-existent books, it'll be digital books. Uh, this was what will be shown uh, in the future. So, Kind of cool, kind of loving this. Uh, guys, if you found this interesting, I found it interesting too. And I'm going to need you to do one thing, one thing only, just for today. Give us a subscribe and a ring the bell. Well, that's two things, but you know, just pretend that isn't two things. You guys can find me on my two YouTube channels, one and two. Of course, they'll be linked below. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, my dogs and my cat are kind of sitting them on them at, at Tall Boy Gareth. I love you all. I've been tall. My name's Gareth. Hey, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. She'll be right. She'll be right. See you guys. Bye.